Well, folks, welcome back to Retired for Life. Uh, we have some rain and possibly some ice coming in. So we're going to stage some of our uh, bales of hay down much closer uh, so we don't have to do any hill climbing. So let's get the tractor rolling and we'll go up and start bringing some bales down. It's a bit of a steep climb right here, so we need to take just a little bit of a run at it. Even with four-wheel drive, we don't have chains on this tractor. There we go. So we'll probably bring down uh, maybe 20 bales, just so that we, we know we're not going to get just so that we know we're not going to get into any trouble here with the uh, ice later on. have to watch that you don't end up dragging your bale and having it come off the uh, bale for it. This is a big powerful tractor, it's got 75 horsepower, but it, it is kind of high, so its center of balance is a bit high, so you've got to be pretty careful about the tippiness of it. And everything, of course, back in here has got uh, a hill on it, there's no such thing as flat. So you got to watch which way you're going at things, and how you're picking it up, and how high you pick things up. Because a big bale like this does weigh quite a bit, and the higher you pick it up, of course, the higher your center of gravity is going to be. And then, if you get yourself on a bit of an angle where normally the tractor would be fine, you could end up rolling it. And the other thing you learn when you're going down hills like this, don't push in your clutch, because there is a really good chance that you could end up with a runaway. Let your engine do the, the braking for you, and it does it quite nicely. That's quite a steep hill, and I have no trouble with the engine doing the braking of it there. And you got to remember, you got a lot out front here, so you've got to swing appropriately. a lot more weight and a lot more horsepower than the little Kubota BX. But all these tractors have their use. I wouldn't want to be trying to take this back into the bush where I'm working on the road to nowhere trail. That would make quite a mess. And your trail would have to be huge to allow this thing to go through. All right, we got two more from this side we'll bring down, and then I think we'll let it uh, sit for the rest of the day. We've got to get back and do a little more work um, back at the sawmill, yeah. You got to remember, you've got a real blind spot right in front of you because of this, this bale.
We're sliding around here a bit. The snow is really greasy. So Art's clearing out some of the snow there to make it a little easier to get into the other bales. Now that tractor has got chains on the back, big trig chains, so it's got lots of grip. Nothing to it. There's something that you could help me if you wanted to do. Sure. Bring that back and we'll go back. And my saw that's on the front porch of the hunting camp, we might be to put the, you have put the bucket on this. Okay. And uh, put the bucket on uh, to put the saw in the bucket and then I can bring the, the long piece on the forks. All right. But All right. I wonder, Wonder should I set that log up and then I'd be drying out a little bit off the ground. So we're gonna head back to the hunting camp. Got a couple of jobs to do back there. So I switched out, put the bucket on the front here. And uh, we'll head back and take care of business back there. So there's the wood processor there to the uh, left. That's what cuts up the firewood. Surprisingly enough, there are still people buying firewood to burn this year. Now the, the logs that are back here are basically without their bark. So they are pretty dry, but boy, you won't get your log really drying up properly until it's split. So this is where the trail comes off the road here and they the snowmobiles turn to the left. There's been, well, looks like there's been one machine through today anyway. They, uh, it is a weekday so there's not a lot of them around right now. And this last bit of snow has given them a reprieve because it was getting to the point back here where the road was right down to the gravel. There was no snow left on it, or very little snow anyway. So the snowmobilers are happy about that. Hopefully we'll get a couple more days. I wanna to try to get out on my machine tomorrow. So we're just coming up to the sawmill here. Let Art get up there and then I'll take a run after him. It is a pretty good climb to get up this hill. Okay, here we go. Well, that gives you guys a bit of a tour back here and shows you what we're uh, what we're doing. So I got to uh, clean up here. We'll get some boards in place and another log up, and we'll see what the rest of the day brings us. Well, folks, we're going to head up to the hunt camp for a little bit here, have a rest. 
and then head back. So I just thought it would be fun to give you a little bit of a look uh, back here as to what goes on on a pretty regular basis. And don't forget, if you've been enjoying these videos, please don't forget to give them a like and share them around. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. Join me in this little fun trip back here, playing in the bush. We're always doing something different, something interesting, and often outdoors. So thanks very much for watching, folks. And we'll see you out on the trails the next time.